So one of the first things that we did see here, and this is of course always a good sign in these humanoid robotics companies, is that this is completely autonomous in one time speed. So the reason why this is so good is because first of all, the autonomy it means that the end to end neural nets that they're using are now good enough so that they can do this completely autonomously. So this being autonomous is really good because sometimes right here, what you'll see is teleoperated or you won't see anything here. And that just means that the current data that they have just doesn't scale yet or it doesn't work enough, which is, you know, unfortunately not good enough for them to use in the demo. Now, another thing that's actually really good about this is this right here, which is one times. And if you don't know why one times is good is because that is essentially where they are showing us how fast the video is being played. Oftentimes with humanoid robotics demos or even other robotics demos, what you'll see is a one times or what you actually see is a two times or even a 10 times marker here where they'll show the robot doing something. But when it's in one time speed, that means the robot is usually fast enough with whatever policy or whatever neural net is working on it that we can actually see how usable it is in real time. So this is good. That it's all, So basically what this essentially just means is that it's good enough to run autonomously and it's fast enough to run where it can be used on a day-to-day -day basis in tasks that are not going to look incredibly slow. So that was one of